motherfucking deal, YouTube. This your boy, Coach Dante. Please comment, like, and subscribe on this video, man. Um, uh, first of all, shout out to my boy, Money Mitch. Uh, this video is for you, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to put this video out there for you, man. I know, I know, I know, man. Um, almost no, yeah, 1,300 subscribers, Money Mitch. But guess what, Money Mitch? I'm Dante. Coach Dante here to make that make this more better, Money Mitch. I know you're depressing, and all you Philadelphia fans are depressed about Ben Simmons still being in the damn building. But let me help get this straight for you guys. Uh, I think you're gonna feel a little better, a little bit better after I make this video. Uh, so let's get right into it. I know I'm talking a little awkward because I gotta say again, and it's funny how my boy Money Mitch made that rant video and on Ben Simmons. But let me tell you guys something. I don't know what the direction the Philadelphia 76ers are going in. Uh, the, they offered the Houston Rockets a trade package to Tobias Harris. To Tobias Harris. Uh, the Rockets turned it down because everybody knows the Rockets are rebuilding. My Rockets, Houston Rockets right here, are rebuilding. Everybody know that. Uh, they trying to trade Seth, Seth Curry, one of, your, most, one of your most consistent players that was in the playoffs and all season long. They go and get... Um, Andre Drummond, Andre Drummond, who's a pretty, that was a pretty okay move, okay move, and you got Joel Embiid, who's, um, who got Joel Embiid, who's a superstar in this making, who's a, a superstar future Hall of Famer in my books, as long as he stay healthy, then you go, you guys resign Ku, uh, Fort Mo Court Moss, which is pretty decent, then you guys sign George Yang, uh, which is, that's pretty decent, but other than that, the Sixers haven't done anything, they haven't addressed, they haven't addressed uh, they haven't addressed too much, too much more. But like I say, you guys might lose Tobias Harris. You guys might lose Seth Curry because the organization, Daryl Moore, is trying to trade them. But then again, what makes it worse is Ben Simmons is still in your locker room. That's what makes it worse. So every you want to raid about Ben Simmons scoring 42 points against the uh, Utah Jazz, against the Utah Jazz. Like I say, the regular season is much, the regular season is really nothing. Playoffs, everything, game slows down, more film to watch. To me, everybody's saying Ben Simmons can shoot, he just don't shoot. I disagree with that. I don't think the guy could shoot. And the guy shoots 54, 53, 53% from the free throw line. The guy shoot poorly from the free throw line. So I don't think this guy really could shoot uh, Money Mitch. I don't really think he could shoot the basketball at all. I don't think he's uh, work. I don't think he has a good work ethic. He don't work. Uh, he doesn't care, uh, just like everybody said. And first of all, Daryl Morey asking prices too, too goddamn high whatsoever. So nobody is going to bite on those four first round picks and a young player. Nobody's going to bite on that. Nobody's going to want to, uh, trade, uh, give up that for a, a person that can't shoot, uh, that cannot shoot, that can probably, uh, cannot create his own shot, that can just, rim run and get to the basket and post up and shoot a little hook shot. Nobody's going to take that uh, in. So at the, what, what it all comes down to for Ben Simmons, uh, he has no type of value whatsoever. And like I said, he passed up a wide open dunk that he could have had and he gave it to, to Matisse Thibel and Matisse Thibel was making one or two free throws. The next play coming down Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young struggled the whole game. And he shoots a step. He shoots a he, he had a nasty crossover on Matisse Thybul in a in a shot in a uh, three point shot at the middle of the court, which pretty much sealed the game. But like I say, uh, Mitch, I'm not mean to make you upset right here, Money Mitch. I'm not mean to make Philadelphia fans upset. But like I say, uh, the bat asking price is clearly too high because if Ben Simmons had any kind of value, the man would have been out. The man would have been up out of here. Right about now, if he asked if he had any type of value, so the man the man would have kind of been out. Now, if the asking price was a little bit lower, don't I believe if Ben Simmons would have been gone? Yes, he would have been gone. But the asking price is a James Harden type of deal, which is I would think that's why he he's gonna be he's gonna stay kind of stay a sixer because nobody is biting on that deal that Daryl Moore has put out there for Ben Simmons. So other than that, man, Ben Simmons averaged fourteen points per game. He averaged fourteen points per game. Three turnovers a game, three turnovers a game, seven assists, eight, seven rebounds, and he shot 56% from the free throw line. I don't think the guy could shoot. So other than that, 
That's the end of the video, man. Comment, like, and subscribe on this video, Sixers fan. I'm sorry, my boy Money Mitchell, Sixers fan. Ben Simmons just don't have no value. And if the guy really could shoot, the guy uh the guy would have uh, been start practicing on shooting. And he can't shoot free throws. That's how I know he actually can't shoot. And you can game plan for Ben Simmons in the playoffs because teams are gonna do double Joel and beat and make Ben Sim and make Ben Simmons go to the rim. And everybody knows Ben Simmons is gonna go to the rim. And the helper that's gonna help on Joel B is Ben Simmons' man, basically. When Tyrese Maxey and Shea Milk was in the game, the offense was flowing more better because those guys can shoot the ball. Ben Simmons in the game, you're playing five on four basketball. That is simple as that. So sorry, Money Mitch, man, but this video is gonna make you feel real, really, really better. I'm here to make your day better, uh, Money Mitch. I'm not here to uh make your day make make your day more sad. I'm here I'm here for you, Money Mitch. I'm here for all these Sixers fans. But right now, Daryl Morey asking price is too goddamn high, and nobody's gonna give up though. No, nobody's gonna give up four first round picks for a guy that can't shoot, for a guy that's progressed that has not gotten better. So at that say, I'm gonna end the video on this. Have a great day, and shout out to my boy Money Mitch and Ben Simmons. I'm out. Peace, guys.